Hello, my beautiful darling loves. Welcome to your love reading for Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Leo-only channel. Cross-watchers are welcome. If you would like to check out my other channels, I do have a Virgo and Cancer only channel. The links for those are all below. Oh, and then there's my main channel, Tarot of Light. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. I do a monthly giveaway. I give away two three-question readings. Hashtag reading to enter to win. Um, if you would like to check out my tarot and oracle decks, I do have Spirit Shield Tarot and Oracle. That is buy one, get one free. Mystery crystal boxes are 20% off. Um, video readings are 20% off. And I do have phone readings available. You can text me and we'll go ahead and book your appointment, okay? Um, I have been trying to get everyone into an energy of practicing daily gratitude and positive affirmations. So if you feel called to do so, please go ahead and drop something that you are grateful for and a positive affirmation with a green heart in the comment section. Okay. All right, my little lion cubs, let's go ahead and get popping. Spirit, tell me about Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay, so we've got spring, we've got dominant, and we've got honesty. Okay, so Leo, I feel like starting this spring, okay, right now when I'm doing this reading, we're in May. So it could have been April, March, April, May, like starting right now, what you have here is an individual that is showing you how they really feel through actions, okay? This is someone that resents you. They feel like you're on a high horse and they want to humble you, okay? They want to humble you in some way, shape, or form. So this person, it's like their mask is coming off and they want to be superior to you, okay? This is someone that through their attitude and through their actions, they're trying to show you that they are better than you or that you mean nothing. It's like that their true colors are starting to show here. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay, so we've got bluff, second chance, and emotional storm. So Leo, this is someone that's trying to gaslight you or make you feel worthless or make you feel bad. And I feel like you're not going to tolerate it. You're not going to, this is going to backfire. Oh, I just lost my voice. This is going to, yeah, see, this person wishes they would have shut up or not done what they're doing. Um, this is going to backfire on this person. Okay. There it's going to backfire. Tell me about Leo. We've got rage and we've got reconcile. So Leo, this is someone that's going to try to like one up you in some way, gaslight you play mental military mind games with you. Like, I don't know what this person's trying to do, but their true colors are going to show and they're going to lose you. Like this is going to backfire. This is someone that wanted you to feel mad, upset, jealous, angry, hurt in some way. And instead you're turning your back. They're not going to get the reaction that they want. Now this person wants your forgiveness. Now they want to reconcile. They want a second chance with you, but I don't know if that's going to happen. So we've got distant future. We've got observant here. We've got divorce and ghosted. Yeah, I feel like Leo, 
even in the future, you're not going to regret this decision. You're realizing here that cutting this person out of your life was the best thing for you. So it's not like, you know, you're making this decision to cut this person off. They're begging for your forgiveness. You know how sometimes we have doubts like, you know, was I being too harsh? Was I being too mean? Spirit is here to say, no, you were not because this person, they showed you their true colors. This is someone that wants to gaslight you. They, they basically, want to make you feel like shit is what they're trying to do. They want to make you feel like shit and you're just not having it. Yeah, Leo, you, this person is confused. You don't need a fucking soul. Excuse my language, but you don't need, this person's got you all messed up. You sit in strong feminine energy. I feel like you're very giving, you're very affectionate, you're very kind, whatever blessings you have, you share with the people around you. And you're realizing here that you're dealing with a very toxic individual. This person is showing you through actions, how they really feel. And you, you're going to trust that you're not out to play uh, dumb, deaf, and blind with nobody. Okay. Once you see a person's true colors, you're not looking to change them into anything else. You're not looking to bargain. You're not looking to compromise. You know, you may forgive, but you're going to release like, okay, that's who you are. You showed me how you feel about me and I'm not going to believe anything else other than that. Okay. Leo, here you are. You know what I'm saying? Look at how you're looking at this King of Swords. Oh, I see you. Oh, I see you. Do you see what I'm saying? There you are. Queen of Wands energy. I see what you're trying to do. I see who you really are now. Yep. See, this is someone that you trusted. This is someone that you thought was committed to you. You thought this person was a good friend or a loyal family member. And uh, their demon is starting to show here, Leo. Their, their, their toxic side is starting to show. And I feel that Leo, you're just sitting in an energy of, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Oh, too many, way too many cards. Way too many cards. Spirit, tell me about Leo, please. Leo. Yeah. Lover's card in the reverse and the Hierophant. Leo, here's the deal. When it comes down to you, if I can't trust you, if I can't trust you, if you're not loyal to me, or if this isn't like, let's just say this is romantic Leo, right? If you see that this is not heading towards high levels of commitment or marriage, you don't need it. Okay. Um, if you see that this is a friend or a family member that you can't trust and isn't solid, you don't need it. Leo, I feel like you're cutting this situation off. You're cutting this snake's head right off with the seven of swords and the queen of swords. You're like, nope, you are not, you know, uh, a love interest that I'm interested in being with long term. You're not a family member that is loyal to me. You're not a friend that is loyal to me. I see you and I am, I see the fuckery and I'm cutting this right off. Yeah. You don't care what this person has to say. You don't care what excuses and they are making excuses, Leo. Okay. You don't care what excuses this person has to say. You are leaving them on red. So this is backfiring. This is backfiring really bad. Tell me about the devil and the high priestess in the reverse. This person was hiding their true colors. High priestess in the reverse, the moon card and the devil. You seen it. You seen it. You, you know, and you're not going to unsee it. This person did is going to do something that's going to expose their true colors and you're not going to ignore it. King of pentacles here and the wheel of fortune. You were a blessing in this person's life, Leo. You believe in loyalty, honor, respect, integrity. You're a loyal friend, a loyal family member, a loyal partner. Okay. And this person with the two of wands and the nine of swords, it is going to backfire hard. It is going to backfire hard with the page of cups, the six of wands and the five of cups here, Leo. This person's going to come towards you telling you how amazing you are, how you didn't deserve that, how sorry they are. You know, they're going to come up with excuses or, oh, I was just having a bad day or I was going through something. You don't give a shit. You do not care. You know, it's an energy of nobody. Do You don't talk to me like that. You don't treat me like that. I don't care what kind of day you're having. Two of swords. Nope. King of swords, two of swords. We are done here. Eight of swords 
and the Ten of Swords. In order for you to forgive this person, Leo, you would literally have to play dumb, deaf, and blind. And that is not an energy that you are looking to... Um, to be in. I understand you're sorry. I understand you were having a bad day. I understand you weren't thinking straight, but I don't trust you. So I'm going to go mind my fucking business is what you're saying. <laughs> Excuse my language, but you know, this person wants to talk. They want to meet up and you're just like not interested not interested. You may be realizing this person is jealous of what you have. Um, they may have made some type of snarky remark. You're realizing here that some, there is some resentments here and that this person, um, I, you know, I don't know how to, if for, for each of you, it could be different. I want to give you guys an example, but it's like, it's just a nasty energy. This person got nasty with you. They said something, they did something, and it kind of threw you off like, oh, really? So that's how you feel about me. You know what I'm saying? So that's how you feel about me. Case closed. I'm going on vacation. I'm not even going to spend any time freaking worrying about this. Leo, if this is uh, love, you're moving right into a new love situation. If this is, um, you know, work, friend, family, you're just moving towards something new here. You're moving towards something new. And the fact that this person tried to manipulate your emotions, manipulate you into gaslighting you, that that is the worst thing that this individual could possibly ever do because you are so not about the effery. Do you see what I'm saying? You are just not doing it. Tell me about Leo, please. Tell me about Leo, please. Reckless and secret love. Past life and compromise. This is someone that may have just, they said or did something stupid, okay? This person may have compared you to a third party to make you feel less than, okay? This is someone that may have leaned towards people from their past to make you feel less than in some way, shape, or form. With compromise here, see, this is a narcissistic energy. This is somebody that wants, you know, what narcissists thrive off of is being good to you and then doing something really messed up to gaslight you. Okay. And you're just not tolerating it. You are just not tolerating it. I want to throw out a few examples there so you could grasp what I'm saying. Let's just say, you know, as an employee, if this is work, you go above and beyond for your boss and your boss has been promising you a raise or a promotion. This boss may end up giving a third party a raise or a promotion and you leave because after all the sacrificing you've did, after everything you've done to this person, you know that you are deserving of the, ra the raise, so you leave. And this is obviously an employer that doesn't want to lose you as an employee because you're a very good employee, you know, very dedicated, um, but you're not going back to that job, okay? Let's just say this is a friend, Let's just say somebody, this is a friend and you know, you maybe have more than this person. You've got more money, whatever, and you're very giving to this individual. This is someone that may have resentments that, you know, oh, you know, Leo thinks that, you know, they could buy me all this stuff or whatever. What do they think? They're better than me. I can't afford it, whatever. You see what I'm saying? So this is someone that may be talking bad behind your back to third party energies, or they may ignore you and put other people in front of you, like friendship wise, um, because they want to gaslight you and you're not tolerating it. You know, your worth. So you're going to go off and be like, okay, so go screw off with that friend. Don't bother me then. Like this is someone that may stand you up, tell you that, you know, they're staying in tonight. Meanwhile, you find out that they went out with another friend and blew you off and you're like, okay, screw you then. If this is love, it's pretty obvious. You know, you were dedicated, loyal, whatever the case may be. This is someone that it may make it clear that they're entertaining other options, like a wandering eye out in the street, being disrespectful, comparing you to their ex, um, and you're cutting it off. 
you are just cutting it off. You immediately see that this person sits in a narcissistic energy. You immediately see that this is someone trying to put you in a low vibration and you are not tolerant it, uh, tolerating it. Yeah. As soon as you see that someone here is chaotic, messy, unstable, you can't trust them. You go cold as ice on this person. You go cold. This person underestimated your cutoff game for real. Okay. With messages and career here, Leo, this person's going to try to talk to you, go out with you, do things with you. And you're going to tell this person, no, I'm working. I'm busy. I'm working. I'm busy. I can't, I can't, I'm working. I'm busy. So this is someone that tried to, you know, bring you down to their level. And you said, bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. You are not dealing with none of that noise. You're not dealing with any of that drama. You may forgive this person just for your own peace, but it's like, nah, I, I saw what you're really about and I'm going to believe you the first time I see you uh, treating me that way. Do you understand? Like a lot of people just tend to look at the good in others, look at the potential. Oh, okay. They, they disrespected me. Um, it's okay. They didn't mean it. They were having a bad day. You are not sitting in this energy, Leo. Okay. It's like, no, yeah, you were disrespectful. You did me dirty and now you got to go. Okay. All right, Leo. I love you all so much. That's what I got for you. And I'll see you soon. Take care my loves.